On a quiet suburban street, a babysitter must defend a 12-year-old boy from intruders, only to discover it's far from a normal home invasion. Hi Dram Nerds, today's drama is about a movie titled, Better Watch Out. The movie starts in the snowy neighborhood at Christmas time, where the whole family celebrates it. But it seems that a young woman, named Ashley, is not in the mood for Christmas, because she cannot be with her family this Christmas. Instead, she goes to a house where the family asked her, to take care of their 12-year-old son, named Luke. Luke has had a sexy dream for the first time time, and he shares his experience with his friend Garrett who had a similar experience. Luke likes Ashley and tells Garrett that he wants to kiss her tonight, but Garrett thinks that Luke is much younger than Ashley. Anyway, Luke has made his decision. Sometime later, Ashley arrives, and Luke's parents, who are ready to go to the Christmas party, they welcome her. It turns out that Ashley has been taking care of Luke for a long time, that is, since he was only 8 years old. Because of this, the family has complete trust in Ashley to handle Luke. Luke's mother tells Ashley that Luke has started sleepwalking again. That's why Ashley has to keep a pencil on the door handle of his room to find out if he is in the room or not. When Garrett and Luke's parents leave, Ashley talks to her boyfriend Ricky, who insists on seeing her, but Ashley cannot go out. Luke is very eager to show the girl that he is not a boy anymore. He does things to impress her to show his bravery and mental maturity. Ashley takes the drink from the child and goes to empty it in the sink and notices the backyard door is opened and closes it. Ricky calls her again, but they argue and the girl hangs up, even though Luke knows Ashley has a boyfriend. But this this does not stop him from trying to seduce the girl. Then the phone rings in the kitchen, but no one answers. Ashley goes to Luke to watch a horror movie together. Luke tells her that she shouldn't be with a guy like Ricky, but Ashley tells him that these words are not for his size, he is just a child. Then she says that she forgot to order pizza, and at that moment she hears the doorbell, and she sees that a pizza has arrived. Ashley tells the pizza guy that she didn't order it, but Luke comes and says that maybe his father did. They end up eating pizza and watching a horror movie. Luke keeps trying to make a move on the girl. He even puts his hand on her leg and his head on her shoulder. At that moment, Ashley's phone rings and she goes to answer it. Then she comes back and sits next to the boy to watch the rest of their movie, until Luke moves to forcefully kiss the girl, but she is afraid and stops him. At the same time, Ashley receives a call from someone who tells her that he is watching her. Because of this, Ashley goes towards the backyard, but does not see anyone there. Later, she notices that the back door is open and asks Luke to give her the phone immediately, but he accidentally throws the phone in the aquarium. The intruder shows himself and we find out that he is Luke's friend Garrett who wanted to annoy Ashley. Then a noise is heard from upstairs. Ashley takes the kitchen knife and goes upstairs to see what happened. The boys are behind her. They notice that someone broke the window with a brick. Ashley tries to call through landline, but she realizes that the phone is off. Then the three of them realize that the internet is also cut off and they cannot call anyone. They want to escape with Ashley's car, but they realize that someone has stabbed her tire. Garrett goes back downstairs and reveals that there is an inscription on the brick, which says, if you want to leave here, you will die. However, Garrett is afraid and leaves the house. But an unknown person shoots him. Ashley and Luke panic and hide from the attackers. They decide to hide in the attic and stay away from the mysterious person who entered the house. Fortunately, the intruder does not notice them in the room and goes out. Later, Ashley almost fall down, afraid of the spider, and Luke saves her. After that, they go downstairs. Luke goes to get the gun that is in his parents' bedroom. Even though the intruder is still walking around the house, he takes Ashley to another room. The attacker here hears a noise and enters the room, and at that moment Ashley realizes that it is Luke's mask, which is on the attacker's face. Because of this, she forces the person to remove his mask, and it becomes clear that he is Garrett. When Ashley finds out that Luke wanted to seduce her by scaring, and then saving her, she gets angry. Luke, who is enraged by the failure of his plan, slaps Ashley hard and Ashley falls down the stairs and faints. When Ashley wakes up, she realizes that she is tied to a chair with tape and her mouth is also closed. Luke and Garrett walk around the house carelessly, and then Luke confesses his love to the girl, despite the fact that he is five years younger than her. Then boys force her to play truth and dare. In that game, Luke asks Ashley if she slept with another boy or not. After that, Luke touches the girl and Garrett also gets close to her. But Luke doesn't let him and they fight, and Garrett leaves. When Ashley is finally alone, she finds a flashlight and sends signals through the window, a kind of Morse code or something, to ask for help. But Luke and Garrett come back catches her red-handed and take the flashlight away from her. After that, Luke makes the girl drink so that when she wakes up the next day, she will forget everything. But Ashley hits the bottle and breaks it. The doorbell rings and Ashley tries to scream but they stop her. Luke plays a song loudly and realizes that Ricky, Ashley's boyfriend, is behind the door. Ricky tells him that Ashley texted him and came to see her. Luke tells Ricky that Ashley is mad at him and doesn't want to see him again. Ricky decides to leave but asks Luke to give the flowers he brought to Ashley. But when Luke opens the door, Ricky forces himself inside. In another room, Ashley lays down on the floor and picks up a piece of glass. Luke tells Ricky that Ashley is upstairs because her period has started. As 
Ricky goes upstairs to look for the girl, Luke takes a baseball bat and hits him in the head. They fight on the floor, and Garrett comes in with a shotgun and threatens him to stop. Luke also uses the opportunity and knocks Ricky unconscious. Ricky is now tied up to a chair next to Ashley, and it turns out that it was Luke who texted Ricky with Ashley's phone. Garrett didn't know that this was part of Luke's plan, so he argues with Luke, but Luke manages to calm the boy down. Luke then forces Ashley to call her ex-boyfriend Jeremy and ask him to come there, but Ashley doesn't agree, that's why Luke calls him. At this moment, Ashley uses the opportunity and tries to open herself with a piece of glass. Ricky purposely wee-wee on himself to get Luke's attention. Luke also has to clean the floor and throw away the towel. When Luke goes outside, Ashley manages to untie her leg, but things get worse for Ricky because Luke and Garrett come and take him away. Luke is kind of jealous because he can't accept the existence of another boy in Ashley's life. Because of this, he implements a sick idea to harm Ricky. While Ashley manages to free herself, and she almost restrains Luke with a gun so that he doesn't hurt Ricky. But Luke throws the can of paint down and it hits Ricky's head and splashes on the ground. Ashley and Garrett are standing there, horrified and gasping at the sight of this horrible scene. Then Ashley pulls the trigger, but realizes that there is no bullet in the gun. She rushes out of the house but her efforts are futile, because Luke manages to catch her quickly after and takes her back in the house. He ties her to the Christmas tree and happily goes outside to greet the Christmas carolers. However, Garrett is quite disturbed by Ricky's death and is shaking to himself. At that moment Ashley's ex-boyfriend Jeremy arrives and Luke welcomes him. Luke tells him that Ashley wants him to write an apology letter before meeting her. And Jeremy doesn't know that Luke planned to kill him. Luke manages to put a rope around his neck and by pulling the rope, he gets strangled hanging from the tree. At the house, Ashley manages to convince Garrett that Luke is not a good friend, and he only uses Garrett to achieve his sick goals. As Garrett is untying Ashley he kisses her on the cheek. Luke sees this and shoots him for touching the girl. He yells at Garrett and tells him that he made him to shoot him. Luke shoots the final bullet and kills him. Ashley has lost hope after seeing all these sickness. Luke, who has no other choice, kills her with a knife. While no one else survived, Luke happily moves around the house and moves the bodies to fake the scene of his crime. Finally, he goes back to his bedroom and remembers to put the pencil on the handle, so that everyone thinks he was asleep at the time of the crime, and enter his room through the window. Some time later when his parents arrive, Luke pretends to be asleep and is apparently unaware of all the killings that happened in the house. His mother hugs him and the police and ambulance arrive at the crime scene. We see Luke who is completely happy about his success, but the story does not end there, because one of the paramedics shouts that someone is still alive. That is none other than Ashley. When they are taking her into the ambulance, Luke looks at her from the window by surprise. Ashley notices him and shows him a finger. Luke is afraid that Ashley will tell everything to the police. He tells his mother that he is worried about Ashley and wants to visit her in the hospital, but this is where the movie ends.